Hello, I'm Prophet Praise, and you can call me Adrian Kese. You are welcome to Audio Learn. Audio Learn is here to help you as a student or as a parent seeking help for your ward or your child who is not performing in school. So this is an opportunity for you. There's a platform. We want to create a community. We want to create a family. So I'll plead with you to subscribe so that you can join our family. Here, my purpose and my goal is to enrich the African mind. My purpose is to bring you hope. Yesterday, we discussed about the three memory systems. And we said that the first one is the sensory memory, the second one, the short-term memory, and the third one is the long-term memory so i promise you that i'll make a video specifically on that yesterday the main uh, concept was the myth when it comes to remembering fact and we uh, uh, we said that no student or no person has a photographic brain no person it's a myth we train our brains and discipline our our brains to become very intelligent and number two we said that remembering is hard work. Remembering is not easy. Remembering is hard work. So you need techniques and methods for you to remember information or data you learn. So as a student, you need to know that no one has a photographic brain. You have to discipline yourself. And number two, remembering is hard work. So you need tools and methods as a student so that you can remember better. So today, we are here and we want to discuss about the three memory systems. So let me start by explaining what memory really is. Memory is the faculty or the part of the brain with data or information is encoded. And when I mean encoded, it means that, for example, let's say this, this financial accountant, I want this, the content in this book to move from the book into my brain. I need a process called encoding. You have the information in the book, in this textbook. You want the information to move from the textbook into your brain. I can't make a hole in my brain and squeeze the information inside, no. What I can do is to convert the information or encode the information from this book into my brain so it's a process that when you want to become very intelligent you need to understand how information works from the book or the material you are reading or studying into the brain in order to remember it whenever you, you need that information so you need to you let's say you have the information and it says that you need to encode the information and store and retrieve when needed. So memory is the faculty of the brain with data or information is encoded or converted, stored and retrieved when needed. So when you say, I'm going to learn and after learning, I ask you and you can't retrieve the information, then learning has not taking place then something got stuck somewhere in your memory so your memory has blocked the information and the data so it couldn't stay so the sensory memory is the first memory system we want to talk about and it says that this holds information less than one second after an item is perceived so the ability to look and remember what an item you looked look like in just a split of a second of observation or memorization is the example of sensory memory so within one second whatever that you were perceiving if you are able to retain and retrieve you have used your sensory memory and go student brilliant students award-winning student i am an award-winning student so I like award-winning students and I pray that you become one and if you are already an award award-winning student you will excel 
so much in your academics if you want to use the sensory memory in learning there are uh, disadvantages because you cannot use the sensory memory to become very intelligent information has to move from this book into the sensory memory and be transferred into the short-term memory and be also transferred lastly into the long-term memory so when information is in the long-term memory you are able to remember it very well so the sensory memory has its limitation and the limitation is that it can hold information or data for only one second and let's look at number two the short-term memory and the short-term memory is also known as the working memory short-term memory allows recall for a period of 18 to 30 seconds several seconds to a minute without rehearsals so if you are able to recall after 18 to 30 seconds of learning you have used your short-term memory and see how the short-term memory also is limited it can hold information for only 18 to 30 seconds so you don't understand why the teacher says something in class and the next day when the teacher comes you are not able to process the information and retrieve it because maybe it didn't go into the long-term memory maybe you used the sensory memory or the short-term memory and these two have their own limitation with the short-term memory the capacity is however limited and cannot be dependent on you cannot depend on your short-term memory if you want to become intelligent you cannot depend on your short-term memory if you want to change your class position from the last five to the first five the short-term memory is so limited if you want to improve the short-term memory what i can teach you or help you do is chunking chunking is a process of dividing the information into smaller parts for example when you pick a 10 digit uh, phone number if you want to remember all the 10 you need to chunk it by dividing it let's say the area code 3 027 or 054 055 3 then you divide it 4 which is 7 then you come to another 3 so you have divided the 10 digit number into 3 which is the first 3 the second 4 and the last 3 so in order for you to grow or build your short term memory to become so powerful you have to use this process called chunking you take the science question and you chunk it you divide it you divide it systematically you see learning takes methods people who are intelligent know how to manipulate information in their brain they, they they have a system and a technique of learning and if you want to become a very good student you have to find your special technique i have my special technique and it is unique i can teach you how i learn but i cannot force you to take my technique you have to find your own technique and everyone yesterday i said that everyone has been made special so you have to find how your brain processes information the technique or the method you can use to become intelligent you have to find it you cannot just take any information and begin to absorb it you need to find how you need to find a technique that helps you store information retain information and retrieve information every good student has a technique and knows how to store information and remember it so find yours and it will help you and lastly we want to talk about the long-term memory the long-term memory which is the LTM is the stage where information knowledge is held indefinitely so people who are very intelligent in class they use the long-term memory information sticks in their brains for one year two years and it is still there because the information was processed and converted well the information was encoded from this book into the sensory memory 
and from the sensory memory it was encoded into the short-term memory and from the short-term memory it was encoded into the long-term memory so in the long run when you ask them anything in this book they'll be able to give it to you they'll be able to answer every question that comes in the exams and you tell yourself i am not intelligent i am not brilliant they are brilliant kojo is brilliant ama is the brightest student in our class no ama is not the brightest student in your class there is genius in you there is greatness in you also but the difference between you and ama is that ama has discovered a technique for learning whilst you have not discovered your own unique technique so ama is able to store information in her long-term memory from the book to the sensory memory to the short-term memory into the long-term memory and whenever the information is needed ama is able to bring it out in the exams and you cannot because you have not used any technique in learning you need to know how to learn and on this platform i'm going to teach you a lot about how to learn a lot of techniques a lot of methods of how to learn and become an intelligent student and become that a student and become that award-winning student so do subscribe and stay tuned every content we bring you will be notified so don't forget to click the like button too don't forget also to comment and i hope today you got something we we, we treated that the three memory systems and we said that the three memory systems are the sensory memory which lasts only one second and we moved on to the short-term memory which lasts only from 18 seconds to 30 seconds and lastly we treated the long-term memory which holds information indefinitely so people are able to hold information in their brains indefinitely because they use the long-term memory do use your long-term memory in order for you to be able to remember information you need a technique and i'm going to show you so many techniques on this platform and from there let's say you pick this accounting book and it doesn't stick today make sure you learn it until it sticks and when you are able to remember this the content in this book maybe from day one or day two or day three later you have used your long-term memory and i believe the information is going to stick and we have methods and techniques of making information sticks too so stay tuned there is a lot there is a lot god wants me to give you and i believe you are here such a time as this in his divine world may god bless you may god touch your brain may god touch your mind bible says we have the mind of christ in the name of jesus may there be a, an ignition in your mind may the fire of god touch your mind may the anointing of god touch your mind that may you excel in everything you do may you excel in your academics may the lord touch you if you are discouraged in in, in life in, in even in your school life may the spirit of the lord touch you wherever you are and may he ignite a passion for learning and reading and studying in jesus name god bless you so much bye bye and i love you all